Hey guys, it's me again. I'm here to show you a tutorial of how to find all the collectibles in the game on chapter 2. That one was easy, the one you just saw. Basically what I showed you here is, uh, I basically skipped it forward. What you do is you go up this building, you'll be upstairs, you go all the way up the stairs, and there'll be like loads of highs. You know, you just take it uh, best thing to do really, because you can look around more easy and not get attacked. And I think in this room here, there is a oh, yeah, heart in this room. And just shoot down the door, really, because if you can't, if you've got no, it's basically barricaded, so you got to shoot it or grenade it or something. And this is one of the rooms here. And a cutscene comes up. I, I don't know if you don't want me to keep these in. It's up to you. Uh, just leave a comment down below if you want me to keep them in or not. And I will. And what you're gonna do is from here, you're gonna go to the window, you're gonna jump across there. This bit is really stupid to do. Jump across there, you just keep jumping until you hit into this building. You make your way into this building, there'll be a picture on the wall, and then next to it, there'll be a bone charm. Now you go back to the beginning, all the way to the alleyway bit, cut through the alleyway, go up the stairs, shoot the door down as normal. Actually, no, you don't have to shoot the door yet. Just open the door. And then you'll find and you'll find a safe. And if you look to the chalkboard, there'll be a code. It says nine two, and just keep putting random numbers in on the first line, and you're guaranteed get it because it's only sealed to nine, so you're guaranteed to get it. And I shoot this door down again. I think it's the same building. Then you see a uh, fucking uh, bone charm again, which was really easy to get and what you know, and there's paintings right behind there I didn't notice that straight away but after I did and there's an audio tape there Your and you want to cut coming. down the back of the streets and this is the back of the streets now and there's a heart or rune in the shelf and this is uh, when you go in the uh, main thing fence in the vault and then if you look to the left there'll be a blueprint right next to you as well so you're guaranteed a blueprint but these ones are easy ones you see you'll figure them out in the campaign with this uh, it's like cutting it up forward because of there's like too long coming up the stairs and you'll find a blueprint again and if you go in that's this room there'll be a uh, guy sleeping in a minute yeah here it is there's gonna be a guy sleeping and this is the only way you can actually get in the side alley but and when you go to the side alley there will be I think a, a heart and a painting door. And what you want to do is you want to uh, use your swipe, uh, swift, I don't know what it's called, I keep forgetting what it's called. And there'll be a painting on this room. There will be. And so this is irritating. Remember, you get uh, gold coins for killing them, you'll, some things will drop out of them. And on this one, you want to go jump across, just across the window where you just want it. And take these out again. It's very good. There's so many in this game, and then you'll find a rune in the uh, cabinet. And now you're in the mansion itself, like first door as soon as you get in, really, like where you need to go. And what you would need to do is uh, shift the room around if you haven't. I shifted it around already. So shift it around, and you'll find a blueprint. Now go to uh, guest arena. No, not guest arena. You go to freaking second floor and all you'll do is make your way down all the way down to the end of the corridor and in the room I'm going to now there's a button in the wall like an emergency button click that and it will take you to uh, a rune what was I I was trying to figure out what to get and I figured out in the end how to get it uh, it's really hard to easy to figure out really if you know what you're doing but other than that you go to the basement now and just say shoot across here and what you'll find is you'll find a uh, another I think charm. Yeah, you'll find another charm. You on the draw. Uh, this is the this is you'll find this one anyway. So cool. yeah, this is some um, uh, side quest where you have to save the guy. And the pictures there. You go back. You go to the thingy uh, basement again in the elevator. Go upstairs in the elevator shaft. And then in the elevator shaft there will be. A couple flies just killed him again. That seriously, I cannot stress this so much, but they're annoying as shit. You basically 
continue on, find out you go to the office room, and I think you killed a guy in here, and right behind his desk there'll be a picture, I took it already though, so that's why it's missing, and what you want to do in here is, you just want to, uh, there's an, this is the maintenance room, or the lab, and you go in here, and in here there's a rune and a autograph, but I didn't, like, get it, and this is the painting I struggled in the most, I did not understand it, basically you got activate this room here and then it will bring a uh, bathtub out and then after you see the uh, bathtub you want to activate it again soon as it turns around yeah you would want to activate it again and when it activates because this is the only way you can do it the only way the picture actually shows up uh, activate it then you look to the left all the way to the left side of the corner and you'll see like a joker looking painting I just think it looks quite one of the best paintings in the game if you did like and enjoy, please like, subscribe and share.